Hello again. This video is to explain some of the powerful rendering tools found in Zygote Anatomy Atlas and Dissection Lab. Um, from previous videos, you've seen how incredibly powerful this tool is for learning anatomy. But now, let me show you how you can use this app to make some amazing imagery. So I've started with a scene that I've brought in the uh, thorax, the head, the digestive system, just a couple pieces to, to show you some of these tools. And by default, everything is brought in with what we call the solid shader, which uh, makes it all look realistic. Down here at the bottom, you've got your other rendering tools. So right now, you know that if you click on one object, you can always delete it and uh, go deeper and deeper into the anatomy that way. But you can also click on objects and make them clear. So now they're kind of showing, but uh, you're able to see deeper into the anatomy. So that's how clear is used. If I select all, go back to solid, I get back to my default solid. Now if I select all and I click on x-ray, I get this really interesting rendering style. So now you can see how you're starting to see in uh, you can see the heart, you can see the brain and the circulatory, you can see the neck. Uh, just a really cool way to render your models. Now let me show you the difference between a white background and a black background. Extremely different. So now we have the same exact rendering effect but with a white background. I'm going to go back to black. Now that's if you do everything rendered a certain style, but where this becomes really fun and interesting is when you select just certain pieces uh, and make them different rendering styles. So let me, s let me show you that. I'm going to start with a clean slate here. Um, do all and remove. And In my anatomy icon, I'm going to bring in a couple different systems. First I'll bring in the skeletal system. And you'll see that by default when you bring in an item or a set of items, they're all selected. You can see the little outline around my skeleton, meaning that it's all selected. If I click anywhere on the screen, it becomes unselected. Now that becomes important here when we start adding some new systems. I'll add the uh, cardiovascular system. And again, it's going to come in all selected. Click anywhere on the screen and it becomes deselected. Now I'm going to bring in the muscular system, but this time I'm going to leave it selected. So once it comes in, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to leave it selected and go down to my tools and change the muscles to look clear. So now since they were the only things, the only model selected, they become clear and everything else remains uh, solid. I click on x-ray and I get some really interesting looks by leaving some pieces solid and other pieces with the x-ray shader. So that's just a fun looking image. Now when I'm ready to actually keep an image, um, you can just use the default uh, Apple power button and home button to take a snapshot of your screen and that image will be added to your to your photos. Now before you do that though, up at the top right we went over some of these in another video but one of the options here is high resolution. When you click on that, I'm not sure how well you can see it in the video, but everything becomes a little bit sharper and cleaner. Now you lose a little bit of performance um, depending on what device you're on, so usually I keep that off until I'm ready to actually take some pictures, but once you are ready, uh, turn that on and uh, take a beautiful snapshot of, of your scene. And now, once you have something that you really like and you want to save it, up at the top right you've got your save configuration menu. And here I've got a couple different uh, icons that I've created. Um, if I click on any one of these, everything about my scene is swapped for the models that I had selected when I saved it, including how they were rendered. So I can easily go back to a previous scene, or I can save new scenes, and this is just an easy way to, to save your configuration, save scenes that you want to use later, or show, show people later. So those are some of the really powerful rendering tools that you find in Zygote's new app. Um, I'm going to show you one last thing here. If I select all, make it solid. The last type of render is uh, is highlight. Now you can select all and click highlight, but that's kind of pointless, highlighting everything. So I'm going to just select a couple things. First I'm going to make these back to solid. I can click a couple muscles. Maybe these are the ones I'm studying or trying to work on. I could highlight them. So that's where highlight comes in handy where you want to just highlight certain muscles or certain pieces of anatomy. 
So again, this is a really powerful app. Uh, it's called Zygote Anatomy Atlas and Dissection Lab, and you can find it on the Apple iTunes Store. And again, it's under $30.